Mayu has released way too many 3x3s in the past year, and it can be hard to decide on which one you should get because there's so many options. I'm fortunate enough to own or to have tried almost all of them, and there's one cube that really stands out to me, the Moyu RS3M V5 Ball Core. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I think it's the best Moyu 3x3 and why I choose to main it over other Moyu cubes, including cubes that are considered to be more premium, like the $90 Super Weilong. It's not really worth talking about the overall performance of the cube, since almost all cubes nowadays have great performance, so I'm going to talk about some of the more subtle nuances and details that I find appealing about the cube, rather than just saying that the cube performs well because that's not really saying much. First of all, I think the RS3 MV5 has a really nice turning feel. It's crunchier and more tactile than other Moyu cubes, which I personally prefer. This is more of a preference thing, I know some people prefer very smooth cubes, but I found that if a cube is too smooth, then I tend to perform worse on it, so it helps to have some level of tactility in the turning, and I think the RS3 MV5 has that kind of feel, which I really like. The RS3 MV5 also has a wider range of viable speeds. It can be made faster or slower, and it still performs pretty well, no matter what speed it's at. It also responds well to lube, meaning that if you use a heavier lube, it'll become slower, and if you use a lighter lube, it'll become faster. Not all cubes do that, some cubes will just take the lube, consume it, and still be fast or something, and they're hard to slow down. But I think the RS3 V5 works very well with a lot of different types of lubes, and it can be easily customized to have the turning speed that you want it to have. And not only can it be made slower, but I think it also works well with a slower turning speed. Not all cubes really are like that, for example, the Super Weilong. Personally, I think the Super Weilong is only a good cube if it's set up to be faster, and a slower setup on the Super Weilong doesn't really feel that good or work that well. But on the RS3 MV5, I think that a slower setup actually works pretty well, and the cube works nicely. It's also worth mentioning the price of the RS3 MV5. The highest tier version, which is the Ballcore UV version, is only $25, which is much cheaper compared to other Moyu releases like the V9, which is around $45, or the Super Weilong, which is $90. So the price is definitely a factor to consider when you're picking a cube to buy, and I think $25 for the V5 is definitely worth it. Another reason I like the V5 is its good performance in competition. In comp, you tend to be more nervous and turn more aggressively, and it's good to have a little bit more of a stable cube that can handle that aggressive turning. The RS3 MV5 is more stable than the V9 or the Super Weilong or other Moyu cubes, and I think that makes it work really, really well in competition. I've used it in comp for a few rounds and have gotten some pretty good results with it, including a 7.71 PR average. I think the V5 works much better in comp compared to other cubes like the V9 or the Super Weilong. I've done a lot of rounds with both of those cubes, and I've only managed to get one or two decent averages on them, mostly because my more aggressive turning in competition doesn't really translate well on those looser cubes, and I tend to lock up a lot more in them. On a slight tangent, the V5 is also really good for one-handed solving. A lot of people have started switching to it, and I know there's a lot of top OH solvers who main the V5. I tried using it in competition, and on the very first round that I used it, I got a 13.33 PR average, which was PR by over a second. I thought that was a fluke at first, but then I used it in the next round and I got another 13 average. So I think the V5's OH performance is definitely extremely good. And depending on how much you care about OH, it might be worth taking that into consideration when you're buying a cube. All right, that's it for this video. It's pretty short and it's just unscripted me talking about my opinions on the V5. If you want to buy this cube, then you can get it on Speedcube Shop and use my discount code JavaCuber for a discount on your entire order. Thanks for watching and goodbye.